Good morning, grandkids. We're standing in front of my house in White Run, and before we talk about potions and plans and companions, let's go in here and I will show you around. It got furnished. <clears throat> I got all the downstairs and the upstairs furnished. So this is my living room. Put all my books over there on the shelf. My dining room and kitchen area. Well, you cook over there in the living room, which is weird. I dumped all my food in some chests here and in, in uh, uh, my other house. And I even have me a bookcase and an alchemy table here. Hidden away in this little room. It's so cool. It's got its own door, but I keep it open. Okay, I want to talk about some plans. Well, no, I'll tell you about the potions first. I made a bunch of potions. And one of them is for invisibility. Because if I finally ever meet up with Josephina or whatever her name is, I forget, <clears throat> where we killed the dragon and she wanted me to go to this party somewhere and try to find some information about the fault, about who's behind the dragon's respawning. <clears throat> well, in there I have to sneak around. And who knows my, who might find me. So I thought an invisibility potion would be great. It'll keep me invisible for a few seconds. And uh, so I made me two of those because the value is 272. And I can sell one of them. <clears throat> but I'm going to keep that one for myself. But if I just concentrate on when I'm out and about finding a few particular potions that would cut down on how many ingredients I carry around all the time because a lot of them are going to be for things that I don't even make and because uh, they're not worth very much like some of the things I made this time was only worth maybe 22 that's not much but I made me three uh, potions of restore magic they're only worth 22 but I thought I'd keep them for myself and I made two potions to restore health, which is only worth 18. I thought I'd keep them for myself. Most definitely the health ones I'd keep for myself. I only made two because I only had uh, enough ingredients to make those two. I've got a lot of junk ingredients or stuff that I don't won't make. Let me take you upstairs and show you my bedroom. Here's, this is Lydia's, and across the little landing is mine. I tried to get her to sleep in her bed, and she won't. I leave her in that room, and I come in here, and she follows right behind me. And I go to sleep there in that bed, and she's right there standing. If I tell her to sit down, she'll sit there. Otherwise, she just stands here and watches me sleep. It's so strange. I thought that room in there was for her. But I guess not. She either won't sleep in it or it won't let her sleep in it. I don't know. So the other few potions I made, I, I sold and... Uh, so I'm going to concentrate on just gathering ingredients for what I like to make. And that's it. I'm not going to gather everything I find. The other thing I wanted to talk about is her. I think I'm going to leave her in this house to be the house Carl. Which she was given to me for. And I, I, I have narrowed it down as far as companions 
to Majol the Huntress in Riften if I can find her. You know why I want her? She just sounds cool. She was described to me as having uh, <clears throat> long blonde hair with blue stripes on her face. And she just sounds like a fighter to me. I like her. The other one would be Mercurio, the mercenary mage, who would also be found in Riften. So those are my two choices. We won't get there today because Riften is a long ways away and I haven't discovered that place yet. So we're going to have a lot of adventures getting to there. But that's where I'm going to go next. Let's look at the map and I will show you. Not that map. Not that map. I'm at. I know where I'm at. This map. Okay, we're here. Riften is way the heck over here. But look. <clears throat> you know, I haven't even gotten Iristed on the map yet because we took that trail all around through the mountains up to Rothgar so it's not listed so I can't fast travel to there and start but we can fast travel to there and make our way down here and get it on the map and then start there's a road that'll take us all the way to Riverton which is I mean Riften which is going to be cool but look off the road we're bidden door We'll definitely go there and check that out. And no telling what we'll find along here on the way to Riften. But that's what we're going to do. And then the next place when we've finished all that, I want to go to Markarth. I don't know what's there. I don't know what it's like. But it has a road all the way from Whiterun. Also, and we can do all kinds of adventures along there. Okay. So, right now, while we're, I'm going to have to have a companion with me getting over to Riften. If I leave Lydia here at White Run, is this where Bandel is, or is he in Riverwood? I think he's in Riverwood, isn't he? Okay, let's see here. Lydia? <clears throat> <clears throat> My dear lady, I want you to sit in this chair. Because I don't know what you'll be doing while I'm gone. And I don't want you just standing there. Behind you. This is kind of sad for me, guys. First of all, I need to see I am what's on you that I can take wings. off. I want all your arrows. I, th I think... <clears throat> Take that. I'm going to leave her with a sword. Just in case. What if somebody broke into the house? She needs a weapon. And all of this is her own clothing. I gave her that. So she can keep that. I think I'll take it off of her head though. Look at her. She looks so much better. I will lay it down in the floor. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe I'll set it on a table or something. Alright, Lydia? You lead, I'll follow. I want you to sit in the chair. No, not me! I was talking to Lydia. Get up.
This is a tedious task. I want you to... I want you to wait here. I want you to sit in the chair. Not me! Lydia? We heading out? I need you All to right. do something. What, what do you need? There. There. Got it. Took you long enough. Thank you. Now. Anything else? No. I'm going to leave her that helmet. There you are. Okay. Goodbye, Lydia. Jeez. This is hard. Oh, I'm supposed to tell her to be my house, Carl. Oh, she's leaning over on her knees like she's sad. Oh, my gosh. Ready to get going? No. Um... What does a house Carl As do? As my fane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Oh, I think I need to tell her it's time for us to part ways. I'll head back home if you need me. You're supposed to stay here. You're my house Carl. Honor to you, my fane. As my fane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Well, now I don't know if she'll okay. be here when I come back or not. Oh, I think she knows. Oh, she's not. Oh, she's staying. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Isn't? Isn't? Riverwood. Where I get Fandle. I work for Bellator. I don't care. Officer. All right, let's go to Riverwood because I think that's where he is. I've never tried to play as a lizard before. Someday I think I will try him. <laughs> he looks good. He looks weird, but that would be kind of cool to play as him. He'd be fearsome. I bet he'd never find a mate to marry. Isn't Fandle back here somewhere? This one, I think. Unlock it? Where is he at? Fando. He works at the mill. Maybe he's around there somewhere. That is the mill, isn't it? Or is it? No. Fando. I 
could harvest his potato plant. I don't want to unlock his door and walk in. Once I was back here trying to find where he lived, and he came home while I was there, walking around here in his yard. But of course, today I want him, and he's not. See, I wish you could ask people questions and they would answer you instead of just saying whatever they want to to you. Is that part of the mill structure or not? Oh, I don't know. Fandle! Where are you? See that, see that dog right there? I think that's Mikos. That might not be Mikos, but Mikos is like him, and he barks all the time. Someone suggested getting him for a companion. I would go out of my mind listening to him bark all the time. I will never, ever get him for a companion. Fando? Oh. oh, the mill's back this way, maybe. What is it? There's Fandro. Talking to Sven. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose, for a Nord village. Oh, he could train me to be an archer. Then, could I ask him to be my companion? Cost two hundred and ninety. Okay. I got the money. Good. I hope it helps me. Okay, let's train some more. Good. And I got to level up. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Till next time. No, 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 no! Don't go away. There's beauty here, unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. Why can't I get him? What's your problem, Sven? Bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him, as if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. You hope? I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Uh huh. Could you, could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Sure. Okay. So take the letter to Camilla and go tell Sven about it. Where's Camilla? Tell me as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. I thought, I thought, 
Camillo is that lady that I met in the market in White Earth. No. There's Finn. Feindall thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Fando wanted me to deliver this letter to Camilla and say it was from you. <sighs> what is this? The elf playing a treachery? Shocking. As if I would write this dribble. How about we play a bit of a turnabout with Fando? Here. I had to use simple words, but this letter should convince Camilla it's from him. Where? All right, let me look at my journal. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. I don't owe you money, do I? No. Oh, that was Carlotta in White Run. I want to deliver Fandle's letter. Okay. So where do I find this Camilla? You're new around here, so I'll go easy on you. But don't get on my bad side. I'd like to slap that kid right in the mouth. Oh, hold. Maybe this is where Camilla is. Oh, now I know who she is. Hello, Camilla. It so much to us to have the club. It's a fine day with you around. I have a letter from Fendel. From Fendel? That's strange. He's never written to me before. What? What is this? Is this what he really thinks about me? No, 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 no. Tell that, that I thought I gave her the real letter from Fendel. He's not welcome. I better no. I didn't want to give her that one. Oh, I did such a stupid thing. Maybe You're I can. Strapping young man, don't be a stranger. <sighs> I can't undo it. Oh, for heaven's sake! <sighs> Adamat, you just screwed up getting the companion you wanted. I do believe. There's my horse. Oh, for heaven's sake. Now he won't. Now he'll be mad at me.
tell me as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. You want to talk to me after everything you've done? I just blew it. No, I guess I don't. All right, then. That means I gotta go back and get Lydia and take her with me. Till I find Majol the Huntress or Mercurio. Take her with me to Riften. I really... I really blew it there. Of course, I'm just going to leave you there because I'm leaving again. And you won't stay in your stall anyway, so you just will hang out at the gate. Yes. I feel so bad. You should stick me in that cage and lock me up. Well, this was a sad, sad thing I did. Very sad. Hmm? I hope Lydia is still here. Lydia? Lydia? She's not in her room. She's probably hanging out in my room unless she left. She, there she is. See, she hangs out in my room. Ooh, she looks mad at me. Where'd you leave your helmet? What do you need, my thing? Follow me. I need your help. Give her back her helmet. How can I serve you, my thing? Okay. Well, let's get going then. Kids, we got to leave it here. I did not get much done. I really, really ruined my chances with Vandal. So I'm going to leave you here. When we come back, we're going to start on the trip to Riften. I'll see you later, kids. Bye-bye.